So I know that I haven't done a video in like four or five months, but the truth is after doing over 10 years of live streams and video games, I'm kind of burnt out. So what I've realized over the many years is that I only appeal to a certain crowd of people. I'm not too commercial or politically correct. And as I'm even saying this, a little bit too wasted to appeal to the wider YouTube audience. So what's the point? This in itself is a question that I've been struggling with for years. Is there some cosmic reason why I should denigrate and humiliate myself for views? Is there an actual reason why I have been putting myself through this? I know that after like a 12 pack of beer and a fifth of vodka, that this, this is probably the wrong time to even ask these questions. But it may not seem like it right now, but most of the time I'm sober and I'm asking these questions to myself every single day. So why did I continue this insanity for over 10 years? My only conclusion is that I've always thought that I had something, something to bring to the table. It was never that I thought that I was more funnier or more entertaining than other YouTubers. The ones that bring in the views, millions and millions of views. Even the ones that make you wonder why the hell you are watching this crap. Hindsight is 2020. So looking back at 2014 when I started YouTube, I'm pretty sure I thought that this was a way that I could leave a legacy for my descendants. For my future generations to look back and see who the hell I was and the shit I thought about as an old son of a bitch with 55 years of experience and now 65 years I thought that I could impart some maybe historical knowledge that would help them navigate through life recently I've had pause and doubt since I started over 10 years ago I have close to 3,500 videos and live streams. In these live streams, although they were just based on the games that I was playing, I poured my heart out about the way I looked at life and the way I felt about everything. The experiences I've had and the bullshit that I've been through with the only hope that it would change at least one person's life. I have talked for literally tens of thousands of hours in this hope, in the belief that at least one person is listening. In reality, I will never know if that's true. But because YouTube at least now, seems like it's going to be everlasting. Maybe someone in the future might, might, freaking just, might just stumble by my channel and listen to the bullshit that I have been spewing for a decade. And it might change their life. That, and only that, no matter what kind of videos I do in the future, whether they be video games, woodworking, or about God, they will have the same impact on what I think is truly the goal. To leave a legacy on the world and future generations. If YouTube persists beyond our immediate conception, if any of this resonates with you and especially if you look back into the library of shit that I fucking put out touches you in some fucking way 
or has made you rethink the shit that's around you every day, please let me know. Please let me know. Because I love you all. And have an extreme hope that you can do better.